If we have value, we have control over our emotions, we have the ability to defend ourselves, we almost damn near inadvertently solve the whole crime problem. Welcome to Freedom Fest TV, part of the ultimate summit for liberty. I'm your host, Heather Wagonhalls, and I am thrilled to bring our next guest. We have founder of Black Guns Matter, Maj Ture. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. It's wonderful to have a conversation with you. So first off, I gotta say, what makes you keep coming back to Freedom Fest? Liberty, this is gonna sound aggressive, but I'm not intending to. This is the big tent that certain political uh, you know, groups or parties pretend to be. This is one of the places where we can see um, people that have one thing in common as it relates to freedom and liberty, but it's across different, maybe they view, uh, you know, back there at our stand, we have uh, guys next to us that are atheists for liberty. We may have some Christians for liberty. We may have all of those different seemingly ends of the spectrum on a social concept, but still agreeing on the concept of freedom and liberty, even if we have to struggle and fight it out a little bit about some of the ways that we get there. More so than many other places, that's what you get at Freedom Fest. And so I'm excited to be here. Well, we're thrilled to have you. So one of the biggest challenges we have today is just having a conversation mm -hmm. about gun control. Mm -hmm. Now, that's not even taking into account the different challenges economically yeah. disadvantaged individuals mm -hmm. have. And you're able to navigate those waters mm -hmm. very successfully. I follow you on social media and I look at all of the different things you do with your solutionary yeah. uh, options. Tell us, what made you get started in this? What, what was the one moment that you said, I need to become an active yeah. voice in my community? So there's several things. One time, when you have the position, when you do one thing in one lane, the work that we, done at, we do at Black Guns Matter with going into the areas where that are impacted by the most negative uh, portions of gun control, right? Um, and making that community become, okay, we're gonna be more safe and responsible gun owners. We said that in 2016 when we started. We want this demographic to be the new largest gun buying demographic. And within three years, we did that. But when you're teaching specifically about firearms, it translates into all of these other different areas. So quite naturally, if I teach somebody how to put a hole in a bad person and stop a threat, bullets go both ways. So what about preventative maintenance? What about de-escalation? What about um, conflict avoidance. What about if something happens, can we teach these same demographics and others um, how do we stop the bleed? And that, doesn't, that isn't even something that deals with firearms. That could just be a car accident. So you start going down this rabbit hole. Okay, firearms and ammo, once you start to train a lot, you start going to the range a lot, that can become costly. Now what are the conversations that we're having about finance in this community? Because I want you to train properly, that, which means, again, going to the range, which means I can't ask you to take that budget out of your grocery. So what are, what are some ways that we can generate passive income? What are the things that we can add to our communities, you know, knowing that the firearm is a way to defend the equity that we've built up in our life? What about the property values in other areas in our lives? So let's have this conversation about real estate. Let's have this conversation about yoga. Let's have this conversation about diet, health, and wellness. Then we get into a holistic approach and the firearms and the training is just one aspect of it. So in seeing that from doing this work with Black Guns Matter, we opened up the Solutionary Center in Philadelphia. And we also made sure that we kept all of these classes free to all. So now we're having a conversation about cooperative economics in our communities. Now we're talking about individuals that are just choosing to add to the pot voluntarily. That leans us in the con into the conversation of voluntarism and libertarianism. So we start to see through, not just myself, but anyone, when we start to train in one discipline, we see the areas where we could strengthen ourselves and others. And so that's in essence where those light bulb moments consistently kept going off. And I say, okay, we can add this to the Solutionary Center. We now most recently have made solutionaryuniversity.org because maybe everybody can't come to Philly to take this yoga class for free or take this finance class for free. But now we can put these things online where anywhere across the world, someone can come and learn from masters in these different disciplines. A lot of that content is free, but we also have a paywall, five and $10 option but creating the culture and the politic and the education that does not have a boundary. So we just keep going and going and the more we train, the more we learn, the more we learn. If you're humble, the more you know that you can continue to grow. 
Well, yes, I love that because the more you learn, you realize you now have a greater capacity to mm -hmm. learn. Mm -hmm. And that's just, it's that one little piece of mm -hmm. self-esteem and that it starts, I mean, it doesn't matter where it starts, but the fact that it starts with protecting myself yes. in, in my situation, my immediate family, yeah. and then now how do, how do I drop those boundaries where right. I don't have to be so hyper vigilant right. because now I can contribute with inside my community. It's, it's a really simplistic concept on one level. I think that the, the, the powers that should not be, that would try to make Americans and humans in general become more, think that these things are more complex, it's very simple. I have the means to defend myself. That means if I care about defending myself, I care about myself. That means by extension, I care about the things and beings that I care about. I want that same level of protection to expand into them. Those people that if I'm expanding not only firearm safety, but if I'm expanding their mental dexterity through yoga, through meditation, through whatever, now we're creating a space where we have a collective or a community of people that say, we have value. If we have value, we have control over our emotions. Uh, we have the ability to defend ourselves, but we want to avoid these things. And we got some resources coming in. That community, we almost damn near inadvertently solve the whole crime problem. If I'm comfortable with myself, I'm working hard towards my next level or goals. I have a couple of bucks saved up and some money working for me. And I have the means to defend myself, but I'm not looking for it. I'd prefer the love and the friendship. That person is gonna be infinitely more productive for our communities than, you know, television would say, you know, just doing things this way or following those negative or media propaganda stereotypes. So it's very simple. As we improve the individual, as we, as we uh, give that individual the understanding that they have a right to stand on this soil and exist and genuinely take, you know, add and take from this life thing, that person is more inclined to move from a place of love, liberty, and respect and freedom for others. Yeah, and it starts with self-respect. Yeah. I, I can't have respect for you if I don't have respect for myself. Right. So what are you, what are topics are you addressing here at Freedom Fest this year? I think this year we're gonna go through, last year we talked about the solutionary process, you know, which being first step one, empathy, step two, facts, step three, we find that solution together. Um, we've seen over the last year or so, especially under the current administration, again, I know there's great people that work for the administration, I'm not attacking it, but the outcomes haven't been that great. Um, we want to make sure that on a grassroots level, we're, we're giving folks, the, the viewers and the listeners on the website and here at Freedom Fest, um, tangible action item lists so they can move forward consistently as it relates to outreach. We have to expand the people that come under our tent based on presenting our ideas. So I think a lot of times what happens is um, through media propaganda and or sometimes people just insecurity or not knowing how to do it. How can I translate more of a solutionary ideology to as it relates to outreach in the demographics that we need it the most? And let's be honest, urban centers are the most populated and that's where we need to get this message. So the presentation on the main stage this Saturday will be about that. What are practical steps you may not live in an urban community, but when I'm engaging urban folks, what am I doing online and in real life to make sure that we're in it, you know, uh, consistently and rather smoothly and seamlessly um, promoting a solution-based liberty, uh, freedom thought process. So we'll just give people some action item lists and some steps that they can take in their everyday life. It's not heavy lifting, but consistent lifting is just as good. Well, I am just in awe at what you've been achieving. So for those that are watching on the live stream, how can they find more of you online? Everybody, this this thing goes because of voluntary donations. So go over to solutionaryuniversity.org. Please donate if anything, you know, we've said in this dialogue here has moved you to do so. Givesingo.com forward slash solutionary. Hit me on social media, maj 2 ray 999 on Twitter. All of the links are in there. And less dialogue. And the other thing is more so than just simply adding to the work that we do, and which we value tremendously, is to make sure that we're being very, very kind to each other. These last few two or three years, we've been kind of dealing with a pretty big psyop. And so if you made it through it, you might be stressing a little bit, but let's remember to be kind to others and to be kind to yourself because we survived something that 
you know, was, was designed to kind of make us break and fold. So that's the way that everyone can find us, support our work, and just a little, you know, action item list for folks to, you know, remember, just be kind to each other. Well, thank you again for being a part of this. And for those of you without a pencil, visit freedomfest.com where you can find more of Maj Trey and all of his great resources. For Maj, I'm Heather Wagenhaus, and we'll be back with more Freedom Fest TV right after this. Mm -hmm.